In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to do the star that's affixed to this baby Americanized hat. So if I were the baby, I'd probably wear it a little askew like that, not directly head on. But again, that's up to you. We are using a luster sheen by Red Heart. It's a really thin uh, material and uh, you need the thin in order to create the star to be in proportion. We are using a size D hook and let's start with a slip knot. Just over your finger twice, over the back, over the forward, and then back, and then push and slip your hook in and pull it snug. Now I would normally do it white to match the tutorial in the background but the white is uh, not coming up very clear on the camera. So we want to uh, chain five. This already counts as one. So let's do two, three, four, and five. And now what we want to do is create the center ring just like you see there. Oops. Create the center ring just like you see. So let's do that. So ticking your hook into the very beginning chain. Okay. And dropping down your hand so that it forms like a U underneath the hook. And just grab the material again, pulling it through there and through the next one. And all the voila, you have the center ring. We now don't want to double crochet ourselves around this ring. So let's begin to chain up three. So one, two, and three. And now what we're going to do is double crochet. So grab the material going into the very center of the ring, pulling it through, pulling it through two and two. Now the chaining of, of this ox counts as one double crochet. We want 20 altogether. So in actual fact, we've already done two double crochets. So let's go. So this will be number three, four, five, and now the straggler is going to be uh, sitting down over top of it. Make sure that you do catch that. So just sticking it in, the straggler will go over top. So this is six. And just keep holding down that straggler so that it gets fixed into the actual centerpiece. So if you lose count at any point, you can always count back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's go eight, nine, nineteen, and twenty. And you will notice now that uh, the one side will appear more fuller than the other. And that's because really twenty doesn't fit around the circle very good. But it will uh, stretch back out as soon as you get working on your project. So let's begin to slip stitch. So just counting up to the second chain so this was where we started counting up the second chain sticking your hook in and and pulling the material through and through so now you officially have done your first rotation so we only have one more rotation to go and we're completely done so this is a very quick tutorial today so this is the last round that we're going to do so it's very simple we've only had to do three rounds the chaining and then the 20 so let's uh, chain up three so one two three and that counts as a double crochet and what we need to do is in the very next line, our next stitch, we just single crochet. So just put your needle down through the stitch, pulling it through, and then pull through two. Now this is where the fun starts. We're going to start our first point. So in order to do that, we just double crochet ourselves uh, to the second stitch over, pulling it through. Thing. So it's a double crochet. And now let's do two more into that same spot. This is the one side of the star point. So you have it all together as three. So I'm going to, this is the three three configuration, the triple threes. So that was three. So now let's chain three, one, two, and three. And now let's go three more double crochets into that exact same spot. And that is going to create your point. This is the exact same pattern that we teach that's in the afghans. But all, the, all what we're doing is, to, is just reducing our needle size and the yarn to make it much smaller. So we're going to skip over the next stitch and let's uh, put a single stitch and the second one over. Okay, so now let's double crochet. So let's skip a stitch and go to the second one over and we're going to do our point of the star in that one. So let's double crochet. Let's do that three times in that same hole. Okay, let's create the point. So we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. And going into the same hole now for another three 
double crochets. So now let's put our single crochet. So we skip the next stitch, go to the second one over for a single. And now let's start your next one. So double crochet, so skip, go to the second one over, and we're going to do our three, three, and three, our triple three. So three, double crochet. Oops. Stuff sometimes thin to work with, I find. You do get used to it over time, and uh, by jumping back and forth on the different thicknesses of yarn and needles is quite uh, challenging. At least for me, it is. So, and I dropped it again. So let's try it again. So it's a triple three. Chances are you're already ahead of me now because I've dropped it. Oh shoot, I dropped it again. Okay, so that's three, and now we're going to skip one and single crochet into the second over. Skip one again and tr uh, double crochet into the next one, and we're creating the very next point. So you're triple three. So I guess while we're doing this, uh, when I fastened it to this uh, particular hat that you see in the background, the, the baby's newborn, I didn't fasten it down by the actual edging of the points. I used the in-between points uh, when I fastened it because I, I felt that when I had uh, sewed down the, the actual points it blended it too much to the hat so I, it didn't really stand out as well as I wanted to so where I actually affixed it was right into the center points of each one of these so I just came in came out and then jumped it over came in and out and voila and so the edging then is loose so you can fold it up or whatever you'd like to do so let's finish this uh, project here. So let's uh, skip one and skip one again and double crochet. This is the final point and the conclusion of this tutorial of making miniature stars. So there, and let's do the point one, two and three, and three double crochets into the same hole. Okay, and then what we need to do is just finalize it now with a single crochet, just in, and voila, you are done. So there you go, those are the miniature stars. And you just gotta just shape it up a little bit and voila, you are done. Oh yeah, I guess we should just cast off while we're gone this point because I'm gonna get email on that. So just trim it over your hand. And what I did for that, if you're gonna fasten it, trim that uh, trim this about two feet long and then use that same string, just use that to help sew it underneath. So then just uh, weave, weave in the edges as you normally would. So there you go, and that's it.